Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Wow, we have a lot to catch up on. Um, it's very early in the morning. I've been up for hours. I'm ready to go and meet my friend Tamara for coffee slash lunch. I haven't quite decided, or we haven't quite decided what we're doing yet. Yesterday, I didn't vlog. I took the day off Vlogmas for the first time ever. Although, you may or may not realize this because my plan later is to come home and film something which I want to try and get up today my plans for this afternoon once again have changed so i will hopefully have some time to film something edit it and get it up by 6 30 pm this evening i'm not sure yet so yeah you may or may not see me today yesterday i don't know this is all very confusing but right now i'm running late to go and meet himera yes my hair is straight also if you watched today's video or yesterday's video you'll see this I did nothing yesterday, honestly. I was just, I wasn't in a bad mood, but I was just like, oh, Jas has left. I woke up like really early in the morning and I was like, oh, this is really sad, he's gone. I always feel like that on a Monday morning when he goes to Dublin, because I know I won't see him for four days. Then I just had like loads of chores to do. I was literally just tidying the house, being a bit of a bum, like just watching a bit of TV while I hoover and things like that. And I just didn't think it'd be very interesting to film. And quite honestly, I wasn't in the mood to like vlog. I spent the entire day in my pajamas with no makeup on and I just washed and straightened my hair in the morning and that was it. My hair does look a bit frizzy at the moment. It always takes about two or three days to kind of settle in once I've washed and straightened it. So at the point where it's about to turn to greasy and when it's greasy it will look great but if ever I want my hair straight I have to like do it two or three days in advance in order for it to look nice on the day it's all very annoying and obviously i'm no professional so i can never blow dry it straight but also you can see when i straighten my hair look at how much my roots have grown out i just haven't got them done because a you can't really tell when my hair's curly and also i'm always toying with the idea of going back to purple hair but i had a whole chat with my sister yesterday on the phone as well and i was saying to her that do you think i should just give up like i should just give up on that dream of having purple hair again because it was hard to maintain i'm not gonna lie like i have so much hair it was a complete nightmare but i just loved being different i loved the way it looked so i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair but i've just left it like this for now and hopefully oh, no one cares if my roots have grown out it's fine but i am gonna go because I don't want to be late to go and meet Hamera. I'm looking forward to catching up with her because it's been ages since I last saw her. And also, I'm really excited about getting a Starbucks because I just haven't been there for so long. And like, I'm dying of withdrawal symptoms, you know? So yeah, this should be fun. Right, let's go. <laughs> I'm with Hamera. <laughs> oh my God, it's such a bad day to have straightened my hair because look at how frizzy it is already. It was chucking it down just as we parked up, wasn't it? Yeah. And I was like, oh no, it's going to rain. But thankfully, it stopped. But just look at the state of my hair. Look, lion. I know. I, was, I, was, I wasn't going to comment lion things, but... Oh God, I really do. <laughs> There's people in this restaurant like turning around to look at me. It's so yeah. funny. But we're going to get a Starbucks and I could not be happier because I'm dying for a coffee. <laughs> Oh, what, Thank, Thank you. you. We had a lovely catch up in Starbucks and we did a bit of Sainsbury's shopping. It's like our tradition, isn't it? We always pop into Sainsbury's on the way back from Starbucks. But now we've moved our cars and we're going for some lunch. Yes. Oh, so hungry. I'm Me too. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Parmesan cheese? Yes, please. So good, isn't it? <laughs> Makes a change from a Ahimsa. We were going to go to the vegan place, but we thought, no, we want some hot food. How good does this look? Delish. Lunch was really good. We're oh, in a yeah. massive food coma now because oh, yeah. I'm not really used to having lunch, are you? No. no. <laughs> but it was really good, but we're going to go now, right? It's yes. raining as well again. Yeah. 
It was nice to see you anyway. Thank you. Thank see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh man, look at the state of my car. The boot is so full of crap. I need to run to the post office first and post these three coats that I sold on eBay. Oh my god, okay. So much has happened since I went to the post office. Okay, not that much has happened since I went to the post office. That was such a lie. I spent like an hour on the phone to my sister. I came, well, I came home first, had a coffee, spent an hour on the phone. And then I was like, oh my God, I really need to film a video because yesterday I took the day off vlogging. I think I might've said earlier, I can't remember. I took the day off vlogging and then I was like, I can't do this. I can't have like, a gap. Like my, my channel has to look consistent and I have to prove to myself that I can do this even if it kills me. So I've literally just filmed a like, what's in my travel makeup bag because people have been asking me for this for a very long time it's been a couple of years since i filmed one of these so i thought now was about time to film it i've literally just finished it's quarter past six i am going to import this footage and literally it's a 45 minute video like unedited i'm going to import the footage now and um just make a start on editing it i need to do it i need to prove to myself that i can so i'm sorry if today's vlog has been a little bit boring but we'll get there i'll be back i'll show you what i'm doing for dinner I think I'm just gonna have a sandwich. I was planning to have pasta. I think I'm gonna have a sandwich because, oh, I hate cooking for one when Jas isn't here. And like, it's just so weird being in the house by myself. I don't think I like this whole, like him being away for four days a week. I thought I was such a baby, but like cooking for one is so boring. And usually when he's at home, like working in London, if he has to go out in the evenings, I will literally have a jacket potato every night that he's not here. But I mean, now that he's going to be working in Dublin for four nights a week, I can't have a jacket potato every single day. So I'm having to like come up with new things that doesn't really involve like beans on toast, jacket potato, like pasta with pesto, which is quick. I don't know. If you have any suggestions on what I can cook that's vegetarian, then please let me know. Like that requires minimal effort because we've established that I'm not the biggest fan of cooking. But anyway, I'm gonna go and edit this video before I keep talking until the end of time. So I will be back in a little while with an update on my progress. <laughs> oh my God, it is like eight o'clock. I've literally just finished editing and my stupid video is taking forever to export because my storage is full on my Mac and stuff like that. But I had a really funny conversation with my cousin Serena. So shout out to Serena, because I know you're watching. She's so funny. She claims to be my biggest vlogmas fan, which is really cute actually she's been watching my videos every single day which is lovely i just posted this on instagram it was our conversation because i sent her a whatsapp i don't know if you'll be able to read it so i sent her this on whatsapp i said serena i hope you're happy you guilt trip me into filming and i'm currently editing today's video if i die from exhaustion it's your fault and she was like that's fine as long as we have a video so i was like you better give me 100 views on it <laughs> she's so funny but at least i know there's somebody out there that's watching all of my vlogmas videos and it will all be worth it i just know it i'm just that person i have to be a perfectionist like i just can't look at all my videos in a row and like see a day missing even though like nobody probably cares but I do so it's just one of those things anyway I'm starving I got a little bit distracted because my grand called me she's so cute she every single day that Jas is away I think she started calling me the first week he was away in Dublin she called me every single day and I wasn't sure if it was for like my benefit or hers because my parents were on holiday at the same time and normally like my mum will speak to my gran at least like two or three times a day if not more and all my aunts probably call her like almost every day so I thought maybe she's just missing my mum and that's why she's calling me and so I kind of put it down to that and the second week he was away I was in Leicester anyway so you would have seen that and then last week I was in Dublin so this week again she knows he's away so she's been calling me every single night and she knows what I'm like she knows that um I hate cooking for like one person so she was like you are eating properly aren't you like, you're not just having toast and I I had to kind of lie to her and told her I had Mexican even though I had that yesterday. The leftover Mexican from Sunday night. But I just don't want her to worry. And I think I am just going to have toast now because it is 8 o'clock. Oh, this video is not even halfway exported. Never mind uploaded. It's so annoying. It's taking forever. But yeah, I have a lot to do tonight. Tomorrow I have to wake up super early. I have to be in Windsor for 9.30 in the morning, I think. Oh, I want to try and get there for 9 actually. So I might leave a little bit earlier because I hate being late. Why do these things take so long? Why? For God's sake, I've got so much to do tonight. Right, so my video is finally uploading. It is about half past eight. I'm going to make some toast for dinner, which is very exciting, but you know, what can you do? These slices of bread, which you probably can't see, are massive, so they will definitely fill me up. That's that. I'm going to have a can of Coke. Very 
very exciting dinner is served. I'm gonna have a can of Coke and two slices of toast. Right, so I've got my, oh, I've got my hood on because it's so cold. I think I forgot to put the heating on earlier. Um, I'm really bad at this whole adulting thing when I'm at home on my own. But anyway, I've got my toast on my knee. I've got my can of Coke in front of me. I've got my micellar water and a cotton bud because I take off my makeup. I'm gonna watch some trashy TV just because I can't eat in silence and it's not just when I'm at home alone. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but one of my pet peeves is like when you're sat at the dinner table with like a few people, if it's just a few of you and it's really quiet, I hate hearing the sound of people chew. I just, it's just one of my pet peeves. I cannot stand it and it just drives me insane. And I don't know, I kind of feel the same way about when I eat by myself because I can hear myself chewing. I always have to have the TV or like the radio or some music on in the background to out the noise but let me know if that's one of your pet peeves or am I just being ridiculous because I'm really interested to know but anyway I'm gonna go and eat because it is now oh my god 10 to 9 so yeah I'll be back I literally just realized halfway through brushing my teeth that I forgot to end tonight's vlog I'm going to bed so I'm gonna end it here I've just done all my skincare which is why I look very oily I have toothpaste in my mouth so I'm gonna end my vlog here but thank you so much for watching I'll see you tomorrow for day 19 bye